Okie doke, so time to learn about the measure of arcs. And notice an arc is just this outside piece of this circle. So if I want to see the measurement, I'm going to find how many degrees it is based off of this central angle. Um, so a central angle goes through the center of the circle. So a minor arc is going to be smaller than a semicircle. So notice semicircle is a half circle. It's going to be this part right here. So an example of a minor arc is going to be RS. And we have these little arc like an eyebrow mark over the RS. So RS is a minor arc. Another example would be ST. Okay, so those are two kinds of minor arcs in that example. Again, you could have said TS or it does not matter in this case. Um, a major arc is going to be larger than a semicircle. So if I have STR, I'm talking about that whole entire arc, which looks like a little Pac-Man. Um, but it was bigger than that minor, uh, the semicircle, okay? So you could also say um, TRS. So a TRS would be another example of a major arc that covers more than the semicircle, okay? Um, and then a semicircle um, would be right here. So RT would be a semicircle. Um, same thing here in this direction, TR or RT. That would be your semicircle. Okay? So based off of these examples, how do you name an arc? Okay? So think about that real quick and jot something down. Up with you name a minor arc with two letters, and you could even say the arc mark over it. And then you're going to name a major arc with three letters little eyebrow arc mark over those, okay? All right, so that's how you name arcs and how you find them in a picture. So why don't you do number example one. So give me four minor arcs, four semicircles, and then um, four major arcs. So notice how you name a semicircle. You don't just say, um, let's see, let's talk about ACE. So we have ACE. Notice I didn't name it AE because that would be the diameter. So you do have to name it with three um, letters, okay? All right, try number one. Four minor arcs, I have DE. You could have also said ED. Um, I also have EC or CE. And then finally, AC or CA. So those are the four minor arcs that we see. Um, you should totally have your eyebrows. Forgot the eyebrows. Eyebrows on fleek. Okie dokie. Okay. Um, and then for the semicircles, um, I have CDE right here for this part of the semicircle. I also have EDA for that part of the semicircle. And then lastly, I have DAC, this part of the semicircle. Um, for the major arcs, um, there are two kind of ways to name it. So, for example, if I want to talk about C. E and A. I want to talk about all of that. I have to include C and A because those are my starting points. Now you can basically pick whether you want to use E or D. So first off I named it C E A first off and then I named it C D A. So you can skip a letter to talk about a major arc. Okay, Important note there. Um, and then if you're going to talk about E D C you could skip over D and you could name it E A C. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. Otherwise, that's how you name major, minor, and semicircle um, arcs. So why don't you take a quick guess? I want you to draw a line for like matching. What do you think a minor arc, how many degrees do you think it is? How much do you think a major arc is? And then how much do you think a semicircle is? So press pause and try those on your own. All right, so a semicircle it's going to be 180 degrees because it's half of a circle and we know circles are 360 degrees. So a semi would be 180. That means a minor is going to be less than 180. So it's actually the measure of the corresponding central angle. And what that means, let's see, AD is a um, minor arc. Okay. So if I told you that this little angle was 27 degrees, well, that's how much um, the measure of angle AD is going to be as well. So it's based off the inside of the angle measure. And that means the major arc 
is going to be 360 minus the minor arc. So if I wanted to see how much this whole piece would be, I would do 360, take away 27 degrees to be left with that whole remaining um, piece of my pie. Okay, so those are how you find the measurements of angles in a circle. So why don't you think about this extension question? Um, if a semicircle equals 180 degrees, what do you think the whole circle is going to add up to? Well, I gave it away because it's 360 degrees. Okay, because if you have a semicircle here that's 180, then you put another semicircle, 180 plus 180 equals 360. Okay, all right. So time to practice on some angles. Let's do, actually, you got it. Why don't you try all of these examples on your own? Um, press pause and then we will talk about how we got them. So here are your answers. Check them really quick. Um, I'm gonna go over a few of the circled ones. So again, notice TC, if the internal angle or the central angle is 128, that means this arc length is also going to be 128 degrees, okay? So once you figure out that this um, minor arc of BD is 90, because 90 plus 90 will get you to 180, and then again, if you have a semicircle right here, um, to find 52, I did 180 minus 128. So once you find each piece um, of the pizza or the pie, um, then you're just going to have to add some things together. So for example, um, TBD. TBD was talking about a semicircle, so I knew it was 180. Um, I already explained how I got 52. Um, BC. How you would find BC, you would say 90 plus this 52 to get that 142. Um, here, uh, BTC. Uh, B, T, and then C was both of these piece of pies added together, so I added those two angles together. Um, C, B, D. Notice you can't go C, B, D. You have to go all the way around C, hit B, and then hit D. So for C, B, D, you wanted that whole thing. Now you could have added 128 plus 90 plus 90 to get 308. Or a quicker way is if you know all of this and you're looking for just this piece, um, you could do 360 minus your minor arc because that'll give you 308 an easier way if you want to do it that way. Um, TDC, so notice I can't go TDC, I can't go inside the circle, so I have to go T, D, and then C, so it wanted 90 plus 90 plus 52 for here. Um, and then same thing, B, C, D, B, C, D, wanted from here to there, so I did 360 minus 90, because I knew that piece. Um, again, you can add them or subtract them from 360. It is totally up to you. So let me know if you have any questions on um, arc measures. Otherwise, we're going to do a couple more examples. Um, so find the measure of each arc or central angle. So it wants me to find the measure of UW. So UW. I need to figure out what that is. Notice I knew it was a minor arc because it was only two letters. So I'm going to have to figure out some math to figure out how to find those. So if this is 120, right here, and this is a semicircle, I can do 180 minus 120 to get 60, and I know that that piece is 60 degrees. I can also then look at this semicircle and know that 180 minus 60 minus 55 will give me that UV piece of 65 and then I can use my knowledge to find this missing piece and then add 65 in it together. So I know a whole um, circle equals 360 so I'm going to do 360 minus 120 minus 60 minus 55 minus 65 to get that this piece is 60. Notice vertical angles. So these two added together um, the measure of UV or UW um, is going to be 125 degrees. Okay, so a little bit of figuring out um, some separate pieces to put that all together. I'm sure there was a quicker way to do it. Let me know if you did it a different way. <laughs> um, then I'm going to skip down here to number 27 and then let you try the two right ones on your own. Um, so for X, assume 
that lines that appear to be the diameter are. All right, so I need to solve for x. And I know those two things right there. So they gave me a lot of unnecessary information. So I really don't need any of those. But I do know the measure of the arc is equal to the central angle. So I would say 41x minus 2 equals 80. And 2. Divide by 41. So x is going to equal 2. Okay. So again, don't freak out. Um, if they give you unnecessary information, you're just going to have to reason through what you need and what you do not need. Okay. All right, so why don't you try number 28 and number 20 on your own, and then we'll go over it and press ball. Um, I found the measure of RQS was 71. Um, that 70 or that 45 was unnecessary information because I knew I had a semicircle with this piece. And if I was looking for RQS, this minor arc, I knew this was 109. So I did 180 minus 109 to get 71. Okay. All right. On uh, number 28, um, I got negative 4. And I did that a few ways. I looked at this right part of the circle as a semicircle and did 180 minus 54 minus 75 to get this 51. I then switched my um, to my circle to this bottom one to find the measure of 54, um, or you also had vertical angles. And then I did a little bit of a shortcut. So remember, if I'm looking for this piece and I know what all of these are, I can find the measure of this by doing 360 minus what I know, and I got it was 126. So I set x plus 130 equal to 126 because that is what this measurement is. Or you could have done it a longer way, and you could have said x plus 30 plus this plus this plus this plus this equals 360, but you would have still gotten 130 when you combine like terms, um, or no, you would have gotten something higher, but you would have gotten negative 4 um, for your answer. So it's kind of multiple ways of thinking about that, um, but let me know if you have any questions about angle measures and arcs. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching.